here you go, here you go, here you go. This is it, this is the lineup, this is the lineup. Right there, can you see that lineup? Line see that? The shotters, the urban shotters, yeah, the black the photographers. One. Not the shy ones. <laughs> not the shy shotters. And we're on our way to Lad, where, where, which part are we going? Uh, Ladbroke Grove. Just off Ladbroke Lad Lad Grove. And we're gonna see what shots we can get for carnival. We might do some video. We might do some photography. Well, definitely photography. But we're gonna see what we can get. And maybe we can put a zine together so we can get some good images. Oh, yeah. We That's an idea. So we've got, come on, introduce yourself. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Well, in our eye vision. <laughs> in our eye vision. Yeah, man, Ross, you know. And he's priest, in our eye vision. With a high tech cannon. See it there. Proper things. Aye, zoom. And we've got my man over here in the red. Oh, he, oh, this guy's over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And this is the, Gemini. the, the alpha Nikon shooter, isn't it? Alpha male Nikon shooter. See him there? Yeah, alpha male. The one Nikon shooter Nikon here today? Shooter. No, no, it's Nikon. <laughs> it's Nikon, Tifon. We don't say Nikon, no, yeah. we say Nikon. Yeah, and we've got the general over here, the general, see here, long time general, four star, field marshal, field partial. Yeah, you ready for action today? Yeah, we'll see what the day brings, we're not sure yet. Yeah? We'll see what the day brings, yeah. and when the cat things as it goes. And hanging back over there, see? The hang back man. The, the hang back man, who the gets everything. Man. How you doing, folks? Yeah. We're just here in Carnival trying to do a thing, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. And these girls look mighty fine. Joke. Mighty fine. They're just fixing up themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting shots as we go yeah, past. Man. So um, what, are you, what are you shooting with today? I'm shooting with a Canon 5D3 and a 24mm 1.4 lens. I'm going to try to get some wide shots today. Yeah. And um, yeah, just trying the thing, you know? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happened, man. So. Peace, man. And try not to let the old grumpy man miss. Yeah, I ain't gonna be miserable, man. You know, I'm normally miserable when it comes to um carnival. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been in 20 years or yeah. So when you see how the youths are dressing and go on. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, I can't talk because can't you know. Yeah. <laughs> Later, man. I hear you. Peace, peace. peace yeah. Bro. And I have that problem as well. You know. I can't talk girl us, this us, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> us grumpy old men. Yeah. Because we had our time when we were younger, and now. We have to um, bite our lip and just get on with it and take the shots because that's what it's about. So we'll see what happens. We're just we're just arriving. Are we meeting up with anybody else when we did, when we get there? Is there any other shotters coming? Quaker, well, we know Quaker is coming, and there might be some others. I think John should be there, and we got females as well. We got some females in the groups. Some what are they ladies or are they females? Ladies. They're ladies. Okay. All right, well, we'll look forward to that. Sign off for now. And we'll see how it goes. Zoom. Okay, first shots have been fired. We're standing on the corner. What is this corner? Ladbrook Grove. And I can't see over there. What is that? Ilgin Crescent and we've taken our first shot. The first floats just went by and I think what we're going to do is probably stay here for a bit anyway and as people go past and as floats go past we're going to try and you know catch the festivities as it goes past. Ras has gone all the way down there. Carl is somewhere on the corner there so this is going to be our base for now. And if you look all the way down there, you can see, I don't know if you can see with this lens. They're going to come all the way down the hill, come along here and pass us by. So this is a pretty good place to camp. Yeah. The colours of carnival. There you go. On their way. It's all good. Respect. It's all good. It's all good. Because you know how I do, filming and photography at the same time, it's all good. See why this is a good place to stand, because everybody's going fast.
we're in the thick of it right now. Yeah, coming all the way from down there. Got a couple good shots. I think, but you can never tell till you get home. But we're definitely in full swing now. We all kind of split up. Some of the brothers have gone down that way. Some of them have gone forward, so we're gonna we're gonna circle around for about an hour, and then we'll meet up at the junction on the corner over there. Just if we can find one another, because it is kind of packed, as you can see. I'm shooting with a 1635. In the crowd, the 1635 is essential. I'm telling them, see, he knows. He knows, it's essential. And I got a 24105, which I recently acquired, and this is essential for events as well. So I'm pairing the two, getting some good shots. I've got a 135 in my bag that I haven't, I haven't broken it out yet, though. And we'll see how it goes.
up with Mr. Johnny. How you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Don't complain. Good to be out here. Once yeah. again, after what? 11 to 100 days since the last one started. Good to be back. Got any good shots? Oh, I'm found. Thousands, yeah. You're going to have to go for I the ball. Yesterday, I was here at 8 a.m. How you doing? Man, you're right, man. Yeah, any good, got any good shots? Tell us, tell uh, us. Oh, yeah, some proper <laughs> shots, man. Carnival, trust me, off the chain today. Yeah. PC, only for people. Big vibes, man. And you know what I'm using? Yeah, yeah. You obviously, are. obviously, it's the Canon. The EOSR. It's got to be done, man. So you can see we're in the thick of it now. Hopefully, you can hear what I'm saying because it's really loud. But we're in the thick of it. Things is going in. And there's another float down there that's just coming. And here it's going to be sick. It's going to be jam. It's going to be packed. It's going to be calm. In about five minutes' time. So I'm trying to spin around and move out of the way. So you see the energy. You see the energy. You feel the energy. Yeah, the energy is mad, the line. It's mad, it's crazy. Man, the it's energy is mad. Dangerous. Though. See there? See there? Yeah. 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 And we know no. it. It's a Caribbean event, yeah? What? The man that my African is here. Aye. So. And I'm with my Jamaican brothers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and intense, really intense. I must have lost half a stone going through that crowd. Trust. So we're just camping in the middle of the street because it's just too intense to try and move about. So we're camping in the middle. And as you can see, we're picking off people as they come. Picking them off, as we do. See, this is our once a year where people don't run from our men. The rest of the time, people run from us. When it's carnival, they run to us. So that's the good thing about it. Yeah? So we're just standing here in the middle, just picking them off. Just picking them off. And enjoying the music. Not too old to join in music. Not too old. Okay, here comes the next flow. It's going to be a bit intense. The whole time. Anytime you just can't stop some waiting. Otherwise we would have got run over, we would have got run down. It's tough, this is tough. And as regarding shooting, you've got to be fast. The minute you see a shot, it's gone in a fraction of a second. Oh wow. We've got another float coming. Another float over that way. And it's going to join on with this crowd and it's going to be double intense. Double, probably quadruple intense. I don't know how we're going to get through this. I'm just going to have to hold on to what I could hold on to this pole and see what happens. And they're coming this way as well. Oh my God, this is going to be tough. Some crazy drums, some war drums, 
Boy Drum. It's nuts. I don't remember a crowd like this. Maybe it's a lockdown. Maybe that's what it is. It's a vlog. Huh? It's a vlog. Trying to shot in this is crazy man. Trying to shoot and trying to video in this intense crowd is crazy. I've got one hand so I have to zoom it out with my one hand and then try and take the picture in a crowd that's jostling. It's nuts. If this works, now I've got to try and find the brothers. I've lost them in that mad crush. Nuts, 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 nuts. See it there? See it there? Oh, wow. This is where we were. I don't even remember. I don't even know. Woi 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 wow 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 <laughs> wow wow now that was hard man that was hard that was tough yeah it was long and it was stressful but it was also enjoyable you know it's something that I've always tried to do you know capture in essence an event the, the full essence of the event as best i can and um notting hill carnival well it's been pos postponed for two years because of the 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 thing that we're not allowed to say the thing you know what i'm talking about and so you know some of the the the, the brothers the shotters the urban shotters, the union of black photographers, the little group that I do shoots with, that we shoot events with, that we document our community with. You know, they said, let's go down, let's go down and capture this thing. It hasn't been going on for two years. So, you know, let's go and do it. And, um, and although I've, I have shot Carnival before, I have never done it as a group. So I thought, you know what, let's do this, man. Because you never know, no one's promised tomorrow. You've got to document the thing. These important events. And Notting Hill Carnival is, uh, is was the second largest carnival in the world, I believe. So, and it's on our doorstep. You know, there's a tr short train drive, short train ride away. You know, coming from sunny South London over to West London. So, yeah, we did it. And you saw, you know, tried to bring you along with us. Yeah. 
And the thing that's always kind of like informed my um, idea of how to shoot Notting Hill Carnival, how to capture it, is this. This book, which I've had for a few years, entitled Carnival. Can you see that? Yeah. Look at that picture on the front, man. This is Carnival back in the day. Yeah. It's a thick book. Rice and Peas production, yeah? Edited by Ishmael Blagrove Jr. Preface by Margaret Busby OBE, you know? So, salute to the soldiers over in West London who put this together. And it's a, it's a photographic testimonial history of the Notting Hill Carnival. This is a great book. And I encourage everybody to go and get a copy of this book, yeah? This... Well, I'm gonna do a little flick through. Uh, this book, as I said, was very important. Let me just, certain images in here that I always gravitate towards when I look through it, when I flick through it. But I just wanted to read the foreword by Brother Ishmael Blagrove. Yeah, he was a leading light in our community. Yeah, he says, this collection of photographs and testimonies was primarily assembled with the aim of ad addressing various historical fallacies surrounding the genesis of the Notting Hill Carnival. It reveals some of the obstacles and the challenges faced by the community out of which the carnival was born. Acknowledging many of the anonymous and forgotten pioneers, activists, hippies, musicians, and performers who con whose contribution, however great or small, transformed what could have otherwise been an insignificant street festival held in one of Britain's most deprived and racially divided areas into one of the most well-attended and lively celebrations of international culture, costume, music, and dance anywhere in the world. And that is important. That is important to, to bear in mind this little paragraph because a lot of us don't really understand the Notting Hill Carnival. You know, we're coming generations later and our idea of what this thing is and what this thing was, in some cases has veered way off, <laughs> way, way, way off what it was intended, you know, to be in the first place. You know, and we know the way a thing is brought into existence determines its nature. So it's important to know this, this history. But anyway, just, you know, that's a lecture for another time. Don't want to get all diplomatic and political on the people. But I just thought it was important to, um, to read that part. So, yeah, flicking through this, let me get to the part I'm going to try and show. It's going to be kind of difficult. I might have to do a top down view so you can see some of the great images of Notting Hill Carnival years gone by look at this one look at this look at this yeah this is 70 76 when things went off yeah look at that image man <laughs> Notting Hill Carnival yeah Things went off, it turned into a big scuffle, it turned into a big fight. There was, um, well, if you know the history of Notting Hill Carnival, and I'm going to briefly touch on it, it was, there was racial tension in West London, in Notting Hill. There was racial tension. There was race hatred, basically, you know. 1958, I think it was, when the race riot took place. It was, and it turned into a race war. I think I've talked about this before. There was a race war, you know? Whites would go around hunting black people, beating them up, smashing up our establishments, you know, because we had just come into the area, you know, the, the Windrush generation, you know, that name that <laughs> keeps getting floated about and it's like it's a little island and it's not connected to anything, but it is connected to something because it is, you know, it is central to a lot of the things, if not all the things that we do in the black community today. Anyway, there was racial 
disharmony, disunity. The white people in the Notting Hill area didn't want the black people there. So it caused an uprising. You know, black people had to defend themselves. We had to defend ourselves and <coughs> scuffles took place. And there was a huge, huge um, war that lasted for days. And um, the police came in and the police took the side of the white people. That's just the way it is. And so we've never trusted the police ever since. 77, this picture from 77 was kind of like a throwback to that, to 1948, when it went off. Yeah, and I remember, I, I wasn't going kind of all them times, I was young, but my sisters, my older sisters went, and I remember them coming back and telling the stories of how it just, everything broke down and bottles were flying and yeah, war was taking place. But um, basically the carnival, the Notting Hill Carnival, came into existence to try and foster relations, healthy relations between black and white. That's, that is the, the reason. That's the reason that it came about. And a lot of us forget that. You know, we forget that. Because a lot of us don't know that. So it's, it's, you know, get this book. If you can get this book, I'm going to show you some other pictures of Carnival, how it was back in the day. Back in the day. Look at this. Costume. Yeah. Look at the costumes. Look at this one. You know, you can see some African spirituality in the costumes. This one's like Native American spirituality in the costumes back in the day. Yeah. Look at this one. Look at this. There's so many images, I can't show you them all, but I just want to get a little, show you where my little, where, where my yardstick of how to, my reference of how to shoot carnival came from. Is this book, going through these images. So in my mind, I'm thinking, when I take the images that I get, that I see, when I take them, look at this children's day. This is children's day. Because you know it's on the Sunday and on the Monday. And on the Sunday is children's day. And I, I think I've only been once on children's day. I took my children years ago. But they hated it. They was there for 15 minutes and they wanted to go home. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Children's Day. So, you know, just set your mind. Look at this one. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Black women, revolutionary spirit, guns made out of wood. This is the costume, you know. This is the costume back in the day. What year was this? Does it say? It says the 1970s. A call to arms, revolution and resistance was po a popular theme of the 1970s carnivals influenced by radical black conscious, consciousness movements of the time. Yeah? Radical, it was their, their, their costume was influenced by the radical black consciousness movement of the time. So when you go to carnival and you see the costumes, the costumes that you are witnessing are a reflection of what's happening in the society at the time. Maybe that's why we don't see costumes like this no more when you go to carnival. I didn't see nothing like this when I was down there, but yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a flick through, a quick flick through, but I'll do a show it top down so you can see just some of the images of how Carnival was back in the day.
think it's very helpful, or well, it was helpful to me, of how to tackle, how to tackle this huge subject, because carnival is huge, yeah? It's a huge, huge area, and I've forgotten how huge it is, you know? Some of the images that you saw when we, we just went down one street, basically. We went down one street right the way to the end. We camped in the middle, as you saw, and we went down. By the time I finished, I was down at the end. And that was it. So I never even scratched the surface of it. Carnival, to me, growing up, wasn't about costumes. It wasn't about the floats. You know, being a descendant of Jamaican parents, you know, we were in sound system. That was our influence. Sound system was our influence. Reggae music, you know, roots music was our influence. So when we went to carnival, we didn't go to the float. I, I speak for myself. I didn't go to the float. We'd see it and then we'd make a beeline to under the flyover or wherever the sound systems were, wherever Coxon was playing or wherever Frontline International was playing. That's what we would do. And it was a complete different vibe there. There were no costumes. People just dressed how they dressed. And we went and we listened to music and, and then we went home. That was carnival for me. And I did that for years. We always bypassed. I mean, the, the, the carnival, the um, costume thing just seemed crazy to me. I never really understood it. It was a bit scary as well, you know, some of them. <laughs> you know, the spirituality, African spirituality. It just was scary to me, you know. I'm just telling it like it is. So we would go there, maybe spend five minutes in that part and then veer off and go to the, to the sound system bit. Yeah. And I didn't even realise I was speaking to a brother just yesterday. Won't call your name, brother. <laughs> But we was having a discussion about carnival. He's from Barbados. And he was telling me that for him it was the opposite. He would go to the floats and the costumes and the pageantry and all that kind of thing. And that there was even a struggle in those who ran the carnival regarding having the sound system. Because they didn't want the sound systems in there. Because the sound system seemed to take away from that carnival vibe. You know, the carnival vibe. You know, the Jamaicans just do things different. It's just, just the way it is. They more like have festival, but the carnival thing, not so much. So there was a big struggle because the, 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 the sound systems were changing the, the, the whole energy of the carnival thing. But somehow the, the sound system, I won't say won, but they allowed it in because they wanted to ban it. They wanted to ban sound systems from the carnival, but they allowed it in. So now sound system has its very integral part in carnival, you know, and you can go to all around the periphery of the carnival and there'll be many sound systems and you could spend all your time there and never, ever see the floats. Never, ever witness that which we tried to photograph you know, when we went to carnival. So... You know, you got to remember, it's different islands. There's Grenada, there's Dominica, there's Barbados, there's Trinidad, there's Brazil on one side. <laughs> and there's Jamaica with reggae music on the other side. But that little island, Jamaica, man, I'm telling you, we're little, but we tall awa, you know. We're big. You know, the influence of reggae music is huge. It's very powerful. It's, it's, it doesn't make sense when you think about it, but it's... What can I say? It's very powerful. It used to draw us, you know, and it draws all sorts of people all over the world, you know. But Marley had concerts in Russia and packed out stadiums in Russia. That's, that's, that's huge. Anyway, so everyone sees Carnival slightly different. I've got some notes down here. That's why I'm looking down here. Everyone sees it as something different. There's something for everyone, you know. So if you want to go and do the jump up, jump up thing, you can do the jump up, jump up thing. If you want to go and do the, the roots, roots thing, dubstep, dubstep, roots, ja shaka thing, you can go and do the roots, ja shaka thing, you know. If you want to do the racial harmony thing, you can do the racial harmony thing because it's all there, you know. There's something for everybody, the race relations bit, 
You can do that. If you want to do your hip hop on your garage. I remember there was a time where we would go to carnival and as I said, go, go under the flyer. There was a space under the flyer. I remember 1980s, yeah? And they used to have these, um, hip, I don't know if you call them hip hop sounds, soul sounds, you know, Winner Roadshow, yeah? GT and them sounds there. And I'm telling you, that's where I first heard hip hop and got the influence of hip hop and Planet Rock and them kind of tune there. And it blew our minds. It, abs it absolutely blew our minds. So Carnival, there's something for everyone. And slowly, as you go there, you, might, you go there for your thing, but you're introduced to other things slowly, you know, and you start to, hmm, as you get, not fed up with your thing, but your mind expands. So that's how you have to see Carnival. I think it's beneficial if you see it like that. Instead of trying to hold it to what you think it is. Because even with taking the pictures, and I shared some of the pictures, some people who saw them were like, but, you know, there's just naked women in the pictures. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all they could see, you know. And it, it, it just shows you where our mindset is, you know. We, we want Carnival to be the way we want it to be. But it's not like that. It's not like that. It's, there's something for everybody. It's not ours. It's not yours. It's everybody's. It's not in Hill Carnival. It was brought about to produce harmony, to encourage harmony, <laughs> racial harmony. Remember that. You have to shoot it with that in mind, I think. And I think that's what we did. We all went down and we all shot differently. You know, I, I weren't worried about how the next man is shooting it. Next man is not worried about how I'm shooting it. You know, we're all a team. Us, the Urban Shotters, we're a crew. But we don't try to... We don't try to put our style onto an next man And the next man isn't going to say, no, 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 don't shoot that. You've got to shoot this, you know. Some of the brothers were shooting portraits. I don't shoot portraits. I'm not really a portrait shooter. You know, when I'm out on the street, I'm more of a street shooter, street photography shooter. I like to shoot things candid. I like to shoot things in the moment as they happen. You know, you get a gut feeling and you, you see and you, yeah. Everybody's different. So, you know, like the fingers on your hand, they're all different. They all have a different function. The thumb, look at the thumb. Look how different the thumb looks to the rest of the fingers. But the thumb is not trying to be an index finger or a middle finger or a little finger. Each works to their advantage and all of them are connected to the same hand. So that's what we got to do. And that's what I think we try to do. And, you know, shooting as a group is not easy because you may want to go, as you saw, some of the brothers went off down one way and some of the brothers went off down the next way. And the good thing about our group, we don't try and control anyone. If you want to go off down the road, go off down the road. If you want to disappear, disappear. Yeah. But we arrive together and we're shooting the same event. And then when we come back together, we will look at our images and see what we can do with it. Because remember I said, if we get some good images, we're gonna produce a zine, yeah? And that is hopefully what we're gonna do. It was uh, very interesting being there. It was very tricky at some points, you know, with the crowd being so intense. It's very hard to shoot things that you might not agree with. <laughs> but you have to decide, are you a journalist or are you an activist? Yeah, or are you something else? Are you a materialist who's just trying to be a careerist? You're just trying to shoot images to be, you know, boost up your career? Or what is it that you, you, you're there for? So yeah, there's things there that I don't agree with. There was, people doing things there that I don't agree with. But it's carnival. And if you want to capture it and capture the essence of it, you have to shoot it. So that's what I try to do. Okay, I don't want this to be too long. Um, just wanted to put a period at the end of all that shooting, you know, little conclusion. I was too wrecked to do it on the street. I was so tired, trust me. I don't even know how I got home. I was kind of like, 
when I got through that really thick crowd, I kind of like just drifted down some side roads. And, and you know when the music was so long, so you can't, you can't even hear no more. It's like you're walking down these side roads and, and you're deaf, almost like you're deaf. You can't even hear your footprints, your footsteps on the road. But I managed to find my way to a tube station, bundled in and got, my, got myself home. So I thought, you know, let me do the conclusion when I get back to the lab. So hopefully this is it. Look out for the zine. We've got a zine in the pipeline. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, the urban shutters will put out this zine and we're looking for your support. You know, it's important that you support, you know. We can, we have done what we have done without any support, but it is good to have your support. So link us, link me. If you want a copy of the zine, I'll show you. I'll let you know when it's, when it's out, hopefully soon. And then we can move forward, you know. So big up the brothers and sisters, big up those who are of the shotters who took part. And um, I hope you enjoyed what we did and what we showed and what we have to offer. Yeah, anyway, done. Zoom, salute, out of here. Woi, 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 woi.